Hey, hi Ronald, this is uh, your radio. New President Washington. I just figured out there's a new feature uh, in the menu. You know, I kind of notice stuff when I check these out and this is the feature. So it's the mic up down key lock and it does exactly what it says. So not sure why they added this in the radio, but uh, here's our factory handset. Up and down does not work. So I'm not really sure the purpose for that. Maybe something will come of that later and why there's a reason for that. When you switch it off, they work. I have the span setting on right now. So I think when you're in span, yeah, you can use your keys and go wherever you want. So you can see everything's enabled on the radio here. So I do usually enable the span on these. I recommend that guys start to use the span on this because you can maneuver around quite a bit easier than using the band feature. Um, radio like this doesn't really need a band feature. It would have been better. I mean, I understand why they put a band feature in it, but uh, this is kind of like your VFO workaround using the span feature. So it's, it's easier for me, and I prefer it that way, than... Um, doing it the other way with the bands and stuff because then you don't have to mess around if somebody wants you to go let's say to the zero on amateur radio you just do that and there you are you know so obviously wherever you leave it where it's flashing that's where it's going to change so if you want it back here then you just leave it there and then it changes it's pretty easy to figure out uh, this one does have the cooling fans on it so here they are president cooling fans they do add a little bit of link to the radio, but not a ton, so just keep that in mind. It is harder to get them in the factory box. I have managed to get them in, although the shutting of the box is a little, the, the brown box inside, uh, yeah, it's a little tricky, but you can do it. So it's, you know, I did put the stickers on for you, so the new stickers are on and stuff. Not that there's anything really to, to change in the radio or anything, but there's the... There's the president fans for you, all installed and everything. Um, again, that's the radio right there. So these are a little more time consuming now, I'll say the least. So, um, you know, putting the fans on and stuff like that adds a little bit more time. So when I get a bunch of these ahead of other guys, they do take longer. So, and I have limited time to work with radio. So when I give someone an estimated shipping time, it is only an estimate. That's what I anticipate, but you know things can happen. So uh, have patience with me. I, I tend to get these radios. Customers order radios. I try to get them out in a timely manner, but I'm also not a a full time operation here. So you know there's always going to be some things going on where I can't sit here and, and do this stuff. And I know everybody likes to get a video, so there's that also. All that stuff takes time. Uh, but anyways, we're just going to move along here. So uh, this is on this band. So we have the SWR enabled so you can see that the fans aren't running right now. I don't think they run to like the radio heats up to like 120 Fahrenheit. So that's going to be, you know, what it's going to be. Um, but they're useful for that. So you can turn it down in, in the menu and you can make the fans run all the time if that's what you choose to do. You know, it may not be a bad idea for some, but it's not really necessary for all. So we can see the radio is doing exceptionally good for, you know, an 80 watt radio. It's, it's right around that mark. So I did uh, adjust the sideband TUI on this. So it's much better than what it was out of the factory. And I did bump the AM depth, modulation depth up a little bit on each mode. I'm sorry, each power level. Because this radio has different um, power levels and whatnot with the, with the top the high, the mid, and the low, so that's all under the power uh, restriction setting in the menu, so you don't have to use that if you don't want to. Um, I personally would use it for myself, but then again, the radio has an RF power too, so you can do it either way. This one is spot on the money, so that's awesome. That's one thing I wish they would let you adjust that, but they don't, so there's nothing I can really change there. I've asked, and they don't uh, give me any feedback that that's allowed, so. 
all I can do is ask and they tell me it's not possible. Um, I know there's another menu system in the radio that only the manufacturer and the factory can access and that would be more beneficial to dealers that could, you know, correct small inconsistencies like that as far as this radio is highly capable of being 100% on frequency right down to like a couple hertz and sometimes they're maybe 10 hertz out which I find in this day and age with these quality of radios and the technology in these that's kind of unacceptable but you know when you can't change it it's just life you know it, it's unfortunate but it is what it is so here's the radio on AM anyways this is in the high power setting so you know to save time that's all I'm going to show but it's doing 75 watts AM so it's doing good fans still aren't on it's 114 degrees in the inside that's what the thermostat on the outside is telling us so that's that's all good um, if we go to FM mode I set it to 50 it usually changes when the radio heats up it's 48 and a half so you know that's going to be normal with this it's going to be around 50 I don't want to set it higher than 50 because then when the radio's cooled down it's going to do much more and I think 50 is good for these uh, this is set to about 4 kilohertz deviation for a good sound on your FM repeaters on 10 meter and stuff and simplex so you should you should be all set here Ronald I'm not going to keep this one too much longer um, I just wanted to show the new feature which is here it's right before the reset they don't mention it in the manual either so if you turn this down I just heard the fans kick on maybe we can probably can't see them but they're cooling you can definitely feel some some air coming up on those heat sink fins and stuff so they definitely work I like them uh, I, I'd say if you have one of these um, you know get some fans if you don't already have them and put them on yourself because they're really easy to put on just takes a few minutes and uh, you know they come with two stickers for each one, so they come in these packs. Right here, you have to buy two of them. So, and then you get two stickers for each pack for some reason. So you only need two, so one of the packs you get two extra stickers, I guess, in case you mess up or something. Alright, thanks Ronald, we'll get this ready to head your way tomorrow. 73.